عندما كنت صغير كنت مجنون في لعب كرة القدم عندما كان عمره 14 سنة تم أخذي إلى منتخب البحرين لم أتخيل أن هذا الحلم سيصبح كابوس في عام 2011 شاركت أنا وزملائي في الفريق في الربيع العربي قالت الحكومة أننا خونة الوطن كنت أعلم أنني يجب أن أهرب لقد وصلت إلى استراليا في عام 2014 He unwittingly had walked into a trap. Bahrain is trying to send a very strong message. We will hunt you and we will bring you back. That was a death sentence. I didn't do anything in Bahrain. I'm a refugee in Australia. In Australia, Hakim was the first person to say Sheikh Salman failed to protect footballers in Bahrain. These are false, nasty lies. This is the man who was going to be in charge of FIFA. I was gobsmacked. Certainly, this. The Thai government were able to send Hakim home at any moment. You know, what is the relationship between Thailand and Bahrain? I, I just couldn't believe it with the profile I had in the game in Australia. Good morning, everyone. I'm Craig Foster. I knew that could help him. Bahrain has formally applied to extradite Hakim Al Arabi. Your wife sends her love, Hakim. Be strong, buddy. <laughs> My biggest concern was that not enough people knew what was happening. I started to see players around the world saying this was wrong. The whole movement had just taken on a life of its own. This was more important than anything. They've realised that the public pressure is so great. They're going to put a bag over his head, sneak Hakeem out of the country. We are absolutely shocked. Having a World Cup winner tweeting, release Hakeem, that's where this got to. Return Hakeem now. If the life of Hakim is not equally as valuable as the billions of dollars of influence, then the soul of football is dead. I am asking to save my life.